The pound is down this Tuesday after the Bank of England's Mark Carney appeared to row back a bit on imminent interest rate hikes. Mr. Carney has, has gotten himself backed into quite a corner with all of the forward guidance and it's, it's really interesting watching him jumping through all kinds of hoops. We've seen it from him today and from other members uh, on the Monetary Policy Committee in that they are saying yes, we are moving forward the first date of the expected interest rate rise, but these rises will be modest and will, the end point will be far lower than in previous interest rate hike cycles. He told British MPs there appears to be more spare capacity in the labour market than we previously thought. There are a few uh, mentions today of uh, the labour market not being quite satisfactory in terms of uh, wage rises and that some of the uh, unemployment rate, the, the lowness of the rate is actually somewhat misleading because some people are still considered to be a bit underemployed and not fully uh, utilized in their capacity. So there's some notes of concern that not everything is, is firing on all cylinders, even though there are clear signs that the UK economy is in recovery. Last time I looked, the pound was just a tad under 170 to the dollar. So was this the pound's last hurrah? I, I can't say that yet. I think the, the market is very clearly attuned to incoming data. And another way that the Bank of England is trying to surrender its, uh, this, uh, this, this whole effort at forward guidance is to saying, look, it depends on the data. The Fed is doing the same thing. These central banks don't have any more information than we do on how, uh, how good the quality of the recovery will remain uh, on track, whether the, the recovery will remain on track in the future. So with this in mind, we have to sort of default to the incoming data, and that, that is what it will drive the pound. And even for a master of FX like John, Positioning yourself as far as sterling is concerned is becoming increasingly tricky. Everything looks great, but the market is very fully positioned for this, and that's one of those, always one of the most tricky set of circumstances for, for any currency or any financial instrument. When the market is fully positioned and reliant on constant sort of additive uh, data to, to keep that story justified and marching forward.